And joining us now is David Bonson, Chief Investment Officer at the Bonson Group and editor of the DividendCafe.com. All right, David, thank you for coming on tonight. Uh, so what's different from this crisis and uh, what we saw in 2008, and are there similarities? There's very few similarities. I mean, uh, one of the similarities would be that there seems to be drama every Sunday that ruins my weekend and the weekends of many other people. But the substance of the drama and what we're dealing with in markets is categorically different. That doesn't make it not serious. <clears throat> I think it's a serious matter in a lot of ways. But 2008 was a credit contagion. There were non-performing assets. There were things that were worth less than they were before because they were not being paid back on, primarily mortgages that were leveraged up to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars. This is not a story of credit impairment, which makes it all the more fascinating. We don't have non-performing assets. The long-dated treasury bonds that lost value because interest rates went up on a mark-to-market -market basis that really hurt the balance sheet of Silicon Valley Bank, for example, those were not, not performing assets. They were paying principal and interest, and they are backed by the full faith and credit of the United States government. It wasn't a credit issue. It was a liquidity issue. They were losing depositors in mass, and they didn't have the balance sheet to withstand the loss of that liquidity. 2008 was a solvency issue. Banks blew themselves up. Mm. Uh, so we're now learning the Fed reportedly knew SVB had red flags as far back as 2021. Uh, David, what do you make of that? And, and should this have been prevented? Well, if they didn't know, that would be much worse. Uh, I don't know how it would be unknown that a bank that had about 40 to $50 billion of deposits for many, many years, all of a sudden had their deposit base triple. When the Fed brought us down to 0% interest rates post-COVID, and there was a bubble forming in hot tech companies and venture capital in unprofitable IPOs and what they call SPACs, and even all this crypto nonsense, those things boosted up the deposit base of Silicon Valley Bank and so I would think that that would be as clear as anything to regulators. The Fed definitely should have known. Now, what could they have done about it? What should they have done about it? It's not illegal to take in new deposits. And it doesn't necessarily mean that all those depositors will leave right away. But it does add to vulnerability. And it shows that people like Elizabeth Warren screaming, we need more regulation. I don't understand for the life of me why these people don't understand that perhaps these regulators just aren't very good. And that what would regulate is, the, like for example, Silicon Valley Bank is going bankrupt. And mm -hmm. letting people feel pain seems to be one of the greatest forms of regulation. They ought to give it a try. Yeah, so today the market seemed to get a boost after these regulator lifelines and private sector bank buyouts. Is that enough, David, or, or is there still a financial crisis simmering under the surface here? Oh, I think it's too early to tell exactly what the market confidence in bank liquidity will be. But there isn't an underlying financial crisis. There are banks that many believe are overcapitalized. There is a lot of what we call tier one capital in the banking system that was not there in 2008, I assure you. And so I think that what you have to have is an underlying confidence. The Credit Suisse matter that was, hand, that was uh, playing out in Europe over the weekend is categorically different. And I think that the market responded favorably today to knowing that that particular issue may be dealt with. But we learned in 08 that sometimes when you start having these Sunday announcements that your first won't be your last. And this is mm -hmm. two weekends in a row of a big announcement of something over the weekend trying to calm markets, calm financial conditions. We may have more in front of us but I do not believe that it amounts to a fundamental All right. contagion in the uh, overall global economy. All right, David, I have to, to wrap you there. Uh, David Bonson of the Bonson Group. David, thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you.